Each of the two meniscus in your knee is a horseshoe-shaped piece of cartilage that cushions movement of the thigh bone on the leg bone. While we tend to think of meniscal tears as occurring during competition in sports, they can even happen in everyday life. In this video, I'll go over the doctor-recommended treatment of a meniscal tear and let you know when to see a doctor and get an MRI, the most important test your doctor does that you want to look for during physical examination, why you may want to try a steroid shot, when arthroscopic surgery is appropriate, and finally, if you do need surgery, whether or not you need a full-blown repair or just a simple clean-out. It's everything you need to know to take proper care of yourself or someone you love who has a meniscal tear in less time than it takes to heat up a piece of pizza here on Best Practice. In addition to severe pain, a meniscal tear often clicks, pops, or feels like your knee is absolutely locked in one position. The vast majority of people with knee pain have no red flags and are clear to treat at home for the first three weeks. Check out my video on how to care for your knee at home for the details. After three weeks, if you're still having pain, you need to see a primary care medical or chiropractic doctor. They will take your history and conduct a thorough physical examination. The most important test on physical examination that is specific to a torn meniscus is the McMurray test, in which your doctor asks about pain while they bend, rotate, and then straighten your knee. Next, you'll be referred for an x-ray. This is probably going to turn out to be negative and just a precaution, but it is important to show how much arthritis is in your knee and to rule out really bad actors like tumors and infection, which are fortunately super rare. If you're on the mend, your doctor will recommend three weeks of physical therapy or five chiropractic sessions. Once you finally reach six weeks, if all of that has failed and the knee still hurts, then you should get an MRI, which you will review with a board-certified orthopedic surgeon who is trained and specializes in sports medicine. Your orthopedic surgeon will give you a steroid shot in the knee. They'll also let you know if the tear is one that typically needs to be debrided or warrants a full-blown repair. Both surgeries can be done these days with a minimally invasive technique through an arthroscope. If the, so let's say you uh, had an MRI, it did show a meniscal tear, someone comes in to see you, what's the first thing you do? Are you gonna give them a steroid shot or sometimes do you go right to surgery? How do you decide what to do? Do you identify a tear on, on the MRI scan? We may go ahead and just um, sign that patient up for a surgical procedure to go in there and restore that meniscus. So it really does depend on some demographic factors, some historical factors, how long that meniscus tear has been there, is there any osteoarthritis, just so many different factors. Everyone's different, and so you really have to go on a case-by-case -case basis to get the best possible Absolutely. result. Well, that's everything I wanted you to know about meniscal tears. To learn more about the best practice recommendations for your knee pain, take our three-minute knee pain assessment. If you have any additional questions, please submit them to me here. For best practice, I'm Dr. Dan Lieberman. If you have a question you would like answered on Best Practice Live, there are three ways to ask. Leave a comment on any of our social channels, click the link to our website and complete the submission form, or call or text us at 608-602-4022. The more information you can give us, the better we can answer your question. So please contact us and we can walk you through uploading your imaging to a secure server. Please like and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with information about your spine and joint health. Lastly, be sure to check out new episodes at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, where we answer all your questions. Yeah.